Hey Brett Bags, it's Jay. Today I'm going to show you how you can get more firepower to kick them creepies butts. You're going to need the shotgun, but it is a bit convoluted. You're going to need a whole bunch of equipment and it really is a mid to late game item. Leave a like if you find this guide useful. Check out the rest of my guides and give me a shout on my live stream channel where I'm playing through 100 days of Sons of the Forest every day, 3pm UK time. It's called JPG 100 Days and you'll find a link to it in the comment section. Okay, enough waffle. You need to get hold of the shovel so you can dig a hole and get yourself the shotgun. The shovel is pretty much the most important item in the game. Without it, you can't really get access to a whole bunch of different areas and extra free loot. But to get the shovel, you need two other bits of equipment, the rope gun as well as the rebreather. Here's location for the rope gun. A vast cave network filled with all sorts of creepies, from twins to fingers. It could be one of the toughest caves. And yep, I've done guides on how to get through them all already. Either way, it doesn't really matter. You're also going to need the rebreather, so you can get this first or second. You might be have been lucky enough to spawn on the beach, and the cave is right directly next to it. Here, you can also get the stun gun, so don't miss out on that. The rebreather cave isn't as challenging as the rope gun. Some few mutants, as well as some of the fingers, and maybe a shark in some water. Eventually, you'll work your way out, and that's the two items you need before you can even contemplate getting yourself the shovel. Then you can go to this location here, which is at the top of a T of a river, and this is where you're gonna find the shovel. So if you thought the rope gun cave was pretty hard, which I think it was, this actually blew my mind how much harder this was. When you get in, you'll have to use a rope line already there, so you won't actually need to fire your rope gun, you just need to bring it so you can access onto the wires. You'll pretty much then have to fight a plethora, pretty much every kind of mutant and creepy in here, multiple times before eventually getting through and finding the shovel. You simply can't get access to the shovel until you get them items, there's no current way to cheese. So after all that challenge, maybe that's why the devs made it super easy to get the shotgun itself. You just need to go to this location, it's one of the purple markers, one of the three that you initially get when you crash land. It's marked by a grave with a gravestone cross on it and then simply just start digging down you'll eventually unearth a coffin with the shotgun laying on his side finally you can make good use out of all of them slugs and bullets you've been hoarding for absolutely ages one bullet to the head of most creepies will do the job two bullets for possibly some of the fingers or stronger ones it all depends what actual ammo you're using. Remember, you can get the slug ammo or the buckshot that you probably come across. To change the ammo, you need to look down and then just press the X button. And obviously, to reload using the controller, it is X. I do believe it's R on a keyboard. There's a bunch of attachments for it as well, including a laser dot sight, and you can put a torch on it too. I'm going to do a more thorough video with the other location of the shotgun and all of the attachments that currently work for it in a brand new video. But I figure at this point, you just want to get your hands on that fire pyre as soon as possible. If you're playing in multiplayer plan, you both want shotguns, look out for that video. It's going to be incoming very soon. And there you go. Enjoy the big boom action. I'll see you right back for more tutorials and guides to Sons of the Forest. And as I said at the start, please go and check out my live stream channel, JPG 100 Days. Until next time, laters.